My name is Sophie Darlington and I'm a wildlife camerawoman. I've been interested in natural history since I was a little girl. I used to spend hours looking at seals on the rocks and I loved all of the tarka, ring of bright water, so all the otters, seals, give me all of that, you know. But when I got to 18, I read a book called The Tree Where Man Was Born by Peter Matheson and it's an incredible book about a fig and I went, I'm, 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 I want to see that, I'm going to go and see that tree. <laughs> it was sort of one of those moments. My stepfather being a pilot, I got a cheap ticket, off I went and that's where I met the BBC Film Group. I saw what they did and suddenly everything kind of went into place. That's what I want to do. Through just sort of constant bugging of people and writing, I went back to Africa and got a job with Hugo van Lauwijk. He is one of the world's best filmmakers, or was, and I was lucky enough to become his assistant and he trained me. Every time I find out I'm filming lions, I get excited because I always learn something new about them. And because they, they you know, the way they have their set up, their socialness, uh, you know, it's a pride or as an individual, you learn new stuff every single time. And I never get bored watching lions, even when they're asleep. There's always something to watch. It might be just a tail flicking in the grass, but it's, they're riveting. When you're filming any animal, and you spend any amount of time with an animal, you have to, in order to, I think, to film it properly, you have to sort of try and think as it thinks. And therefore, it's really hard not to engage with them. You're sitting there and you're kind of anticipating everything in order to get the best material, but also to put yourself in the position of being the best representation. You know, you're trying to portray this animal truly. And so you're putting yourself into their headspace. So you definitely become attached, I think. The most memorable moment I had was on another production many moons ago, and I was filming male lions and we worked with this coalition of male lions there were there were five and five adult male lions together is quite something it was big and they they decided to run off after something and i was driving with them and i was self-driving so i have my own car and it's missing half its side so you can film properly so i'm driving along and i suddenly look out the window and there were all of these male lions running next to me and it was like, I really felt like I was one of the lines. It was one of the most amazing moments because it was, it was a real sort of silver crin. The hair was going, they were roaring because my car was right there. Just, just the hairs on my arms were just a beautiful moment. And I didn't film it because I was driving with them. And often the most beautiful moments you don't get to film. You just have to keep them up there. The thing about lines is everybody goes, oh, lines, there's millions of lines, aren't there? No, there aren't millions of lines. There's only like 20,000 lines left in Africa and the numbers are going down so rapidly. Everybody goes, oh, God, not another film about lions. One, there's loads more stories to tell about lions. And um, two is that we've got to keep awareness going that, that, that these animals might not be around much longer if we continue to encroach into their habitat. We're all after the prime real estate. We want the same land. Um, and so it is a problem, it's going to get worse and worse. And I only hope that the areas that have been set aside for them continue to be set aside for them and that, um, that we can get the communities around the parks um, working with people to try, and, you know, you know, to try and work with them as opposed to against them. I'm, I've filmed some amazing hunts in my time and it's, uh, wildlife filmmaking isn't all about the hunting, although a lot of things that tend to get onto the screen can be hunting, you know, it's that big moment. Um, I love seeing the little moments too, whether it's the play, but the hunting um, is, is fantastic. But they hunt, you know, the, the, the variety and no one hunts the same as well. And if you've got a huge bunch of lions hunting together, it's very different from one lion or three lions. And so every time you film a hunt, it's different. It's a long time to be away, but it's, um, it, you, ultimately you're doing it because you want to do it, aren't you? It's your choice and I wouldn't do anything else in the world. It's the best job in the world because you, but only if you like going to really remote places, pushing heaps of luggage through thousands of airports, sitting for years doing absolutely nothing, not seeing your family and friends, spending hours cramped in aeroplanes as aeroplanes ever get smaller and smaller. And, um, but then it's worth it for those moments.